This video is to demonstrate how to save a website's URL. We do this in order to preserve evidence in a revenge porn case. My name is Daniel Zalkowitz, and I am an attorney at Daniel Zalkowitz & Associates PC, a law firm based in New York City. The first question is, what is a URL? URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator, which is simply a fancy name for the website address. Why is it important to save a URL? First, oftentimes in revenge porn cases, the videos or images are shared on social media sites. However, many people can have the same username. For example, if your abuser shared the videos and photographs on the Facebook account John Smith, Facebook would respond that they're unable to identify who John Smith is because many people use that name. Facebook would require the URL in order to give you identifying information. Second, the URL is a more accurate way to preserve the website. And third, when filing a lawsuit or criminal charges, the court and police often want the URL for evidentiary purposes and to help track the individual online who uploaded the images or videos. For this demonstration, I will be using both Apple Safari and Google Chrome. The first web browser I'm using is Apple Safari. I am on the website nycourts.gov backslash courts. There are two ways to save the URL. First, you would go to the file print tab, or because we're using a Mac, we can just use Apple P on a PC, we will be using, uh, we'll be hitting Control P. So the custom standard is set up shows that if you look into preview, there are no information whatsoever contained on here about where the website comes from. We're going to want to hit the print background tab. This shows the images that are embedded on the website. And we're also going to want to hit the print headers and footers tab. You can see in the preview, things have started to change. Now, you can simply print the website if you would like at this point and save a paper file, or we recommend utilizing the Save PDF feature. Click on the PDF tab, Save as PDF. Now, for this demonstration, I will be saving the PDF to my desktop. However, because this often contains intimate images, we suggest you save the PDF in a secure location. Hit the Save button, and close on the tab. And if you double click on the PDF to open it up, you will see that now the website's location is located on the top. The exact date and time for when you stored this website into the screenshot the shot is located. And also, on the bottom is the URL for where the content came from. I'm now opening up Google Chrome and we're going to do the same feature. You can either hit the file print button or control P or Apple P. Hitting control P, you will see initially there is no information contained whatsoever on the print preview. We're going to click on the more settings tab, go down to the options and click on headers and footers. As you can see, words were added to the website. We're also going to click on the background graphics tab. And again, you can see that the print preview has changed. I'm going to once again save this to my desktop. We're going to check to make sure it worked. Double click on the preview tab. You'll see now we have the same date, 3-16-2022. The time that this was done, and on the bottom will be the URL. This is by far the most efficient way in order to save a website and evidence in a revenge porn case. Oftentimes when clients take screenshots, they forget to include the URL. So it's very important to save it as a PDF or as well, or to write down the URL in an Excel sheet, Word document, or someplace so that you're able to later on identify the exact website where the revenge porn was uploaded. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to contact us below.